Bainbridge is a small town in southwest Georgia that there's not a whole lot to it. Many times it is overlooked because of its size. Many people say it is too small, but many people say it is just the right size. What do you know about your town? Are there any historical events that happened in Bainbridge? Let's dig in and see what there is. My goal is to teach you a few things about Bainbridge that you might not know. Things such as, when was it founded? What was it named for? And then, just some fun facts about Bainbridge. When was Bainbridge founded? According to southwestgeorgiaregionallibrary.org, Bainbridge was founded in 1823 when it was taken from parts of Early County and extended three miles from what is now day Thomas County. Who or what was Bainbridge named for? In 1765, when Europeans settled the area, it was named after a European trader who set up posts in the area. According to southwestgeorgiaregionallibrary.org, when the area was cut off from Early County, it was, named, it was then named Decatur County after Commodore Stephen Decatur. In 1824, Bainbridge was named Fort Hughes after William Bainbridge, the commander of Old Ironsides in World War I. Finally, here are some facts that you might not know about Bainbridge. The Gilbert H. Gregg Library, located in Bainbridge, is the Southwest Georgia Regional Library headquarters. Bainbridge is one of two inland ports in the state of Georgia. Bainbridge has one post-secondary education establishment, which is Bainbridge College, which opened to students in 1973, and in 2003, the estimated enrollment was 2,400 students. According to citydata.com, the estimated population in 2007 was 22,569 people. Bainbridge is about 332.3 square miles of land and 1.5 square miles of water. During World War II, there was an airport set up in Bainbridge to help train pilots. Later in the war, Bainbridge was used for a camp for German prisoners of war. Climax and Brinson, two cities on either side of Bainbridge, played a major role in the early agricultural economy of Bainbridge as junctions. Agricultural, although, although agriculture is not the only thing that was big in Decatur County. Fool's Earth, which is a clay that is mined for bleaching petroleum and cleaning wool, started to be mined in 1907 in Outer Pulvis, which is about 12 miles south of Decatur County, and is still the nation's largest industry in, industry in producing Fuller's Earth. Bainbridge is small, but yet has played an amazing has played a major role in agricultural economy and World War II help. After having many other names, it is now known as Bainbridge after William Bainbridge. One of two inland ports, it played a major role in shipment by water, although this is not a big role today. Agriculture and Fool's Earth mining are the two major boosts in Decatur County economy today. Although the Bainbridge Airport was a great asset, asset in World War II, it is no longer open for airfare today. It is just a site with many memories. Now that you are informed a little about the history, maybe you can respect the town a little bit more. It is a small town that plays a major role, although many of its residents do not think so. They think it's an old dinky town, although this is wrong. One last piece of information is that Bainbridge was home to former Georgia Secretary of State Kathy Cox.